Hey guys, it's Tochi. I'm back with another video. I am so glad that you guys are able to join me on this video. It is something that needs to be, that is needed to be talked about because a lot of things are getting on my nerves. All right, so let's get to it. <laughs> Okay, pet peeve number one, when you come in late. So if you come in at late at 7 a.m. or 7 p.m. for whatever shift you're supposed to come in at, and the, let's say, the nurse who needs to get report, okay, not the one who's giving report, but the nurse who needs to get report came in late or comes in late, takes their time putting their stuff away, putting their lunch bags away, putting their book bags away and all that nonsense, um, takes their time getting out their report sheet, trying to print out the report. She say, hold on, I'm not finished. I'm not done yet. Let me get myself prepared. Meanwhile, it is 730 and I am trying to go home. Do not do that. Please come in on time. And if you come in late, you need to have your report sheet ready so I can give you a report because I'm trying to give this patient out, <laughs> give this patient away. I'm trying to go home and sleep. That is so inconsiderate. All right, come in on time, okay? Come in on time. I hate when nurses come in late and you're there to like, I've, I've been, I've been there to like eight, 8.30, waiting for another nurse. Or I hate, 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 when another nurse is getting floated to our, my unit, right? And they, that, that nurse who's supposed to get flowed to my unit is from coming from another unit and they're arguing about whose time is it to float first. Meanwhile, I'm waiting down here waiting for that nurse to come down to my unit and I need to give report because I need to go home. And they're busy arguing upstairs or wherever at their home unit about I'm, it's not my time to float. So find another nurse, you know? Annoying, annoying, but whatever. <laughs> Pet peeve number two, nosiness. All right, nosiness. Now, everyone who knows me knows that I don't like nosy people, period. Like, it's such a pet peeve of mine. Like, I really try to avoid nosy people. Like, I'm just to myself, to my in my business or whatever. I hate when people are in your business. So if I have a patient who's, let's say, crashing or something like that or something going on with that or whatever, um, them, and I have another nurse who's not really particularly... Uh, concerned about the patient status but they're concerned if i'm taking proper care of that patient or not i am a good nurse i'm a great nurse actually let me take care of my my patient handle let me handle my own business you take care of your own patient period all right maybe that's why you're you're late on meds or something or you stay in late after work because you busy you 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 busy minding other people's business no mind your own business like go leave me alone i can take care of my 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 patient unless you want to have my patient and you want to have that six or seven patient period here here you go by all means let me have four patients today <laughs> pet peeve number three all right know-it-alls <sighs> One thing as a new grad is you should not come into work knowing, thinking that you know everything. You must be like, you might be like textbook smart or whatever like that, but when it comes to real life situations, you should never ever act like you're an OLA because that could compromise the patient's health status, okay? And it just doesn't look good when you think or act like you are an OLA because at the end of the day, as a new, especially as a new grad or even if you've been a nurse for 10 years, you should not act as if you know it all because no one ever knows it all, okay? You should always be asking questions or asking for help or whatever. Think, Don't be a hero, a superhero. You're not that at the end of the day. You are a nurse and you get help by asking other patients or other people, I mean, other coworkers for their advice. And it's up to you to choose whether or not you wanna take their advice. That's another pet peeve of mine. Number four is when you do not take, when you ask a person advice, your coworker colleague's advice, and you don't really take it, or you don't think they have the good res a good response to your question. It's kind of annoying, especially as a new grad, you should not be doing that. You should be open to all um, advice. 
and don't act like a know-it-all, period. Because you're gonna look crazy if you act like a know-it-all and then something bad happens to your patient or someone calls you out on it or a doctor calls you out on it or another coworker called you out on it um, and you look, you look stupid. Like, don't do that, all right? Pet peeve number five. I hate when people tell me how to delegate and how to do my job. I had, I mean, I love the text. I don't say my nurses or my texts because I don't own anybody, but I love the text. They are very hard working um, people, but sometimes I've had texts in the past tell me how to delegate or do my job. And it's just like, I know how to do my job, please. <laughs> I know how to do my job. I'm good at it. I know I'm good at it. It took me a while to become good at it, okay? It's not even just text. It, it could be other nurses as well. Stepping in on how I'm doing a patient care. You're just being nosy at the end of the day or you're just being bossy at the end of the day. And it's no bueno, okay? For me at least. Just don't tell me how to do my job. I know how to do it and there's a reason behind how I'm doing it. There's, there's another thing where you could come in and be genuine and tell me how to do certain things or, or whatnot, um, and I take it, but I know you're being genuine, but then there's other people who are just not genuine at all. So don't tell me how to do my job. I know how to do this. I've been doing this for a bit. Thank you. Pet peeve number six. Um, I hate, 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 hate. All right, I hate is a strong word. I despise. I despise when, <sighs> so I know that nursing is a 24 seven job, okay? 24 hour job. I, but there are some things that you can do or complete on your shift and it's courteous, okay? It's considerate, all right? I hate or despise when another fellow nurse leaves me work to do that they could have easily done and it's leaving me work to do that they could have easily done because they didn't want to do it, all right? There's a difference. There's a difference between doing that and there's a difference between you don't feel like doing it and you're just gonna leave me that work because it makes my job harder and it makes me behind when I haven't even started my work yet. You have already decided to leave me what you're not going to do and because you don't feel like doing it. Like, that's not cool at all. Finish up your work, what you can complete, and if you couldn't complete it, just tell me why you couldn't complete it. And if there's a valid reason, then okay. But if there's not, then that's not cool at all. But I still have to do your work. Do you want me to leave you work to do? Nah, that's not gonna work. Like, no, that's inconsiderate. Don't do that. So especially if you didn't like do something that delays the patient plan of care or care plan, okay? When you don't feel like giving blood and the doctor been ordered it at three o'clock and I'm coming on at 7 p.m. and you didn't bother to call the blood bank and you give me a, 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 an excuse of, oh, the patient refused lab draws. So we couldn't give the blood because we don't know his blood type. We needed another reconfirmation of his blood type. No, you could have easily called the blood bank because this patient has been here for a long time, had been here multiple visits. We don't need another reconfirmation. Okay, we don't need a confirmation about his blood cross match. Okay, you could have easily called the, the, the blood bank because now his H and H is it's, it's even lower and now you're leaving me to do it and I'm going to be behind on giving it and it's gonna be 11 o'clock and that happened. So, and then the doctor's questioning me, why wouldn't it given at at least four o'clock because the, the patient, the, the doctor, the other morning time day shift doctor been ordered it at 3 p.m. And now I have to come up with excuses as why the blood wasn't given. Like, just do your work, all right? Just do your work, finish it. Even if you're a little bit late or behind, complete what you can complete and give the rest to the, the, the nighttime nurse. Because I do understand that nursing is a 24 seven job. Okay, you can't complete everything. That's impossible. But for what you can complete or what you did start and you didn't feel like completing, but you could have completed it, like that's not cool. Anyway, so those are my top pet peeves. I probably will come out with another video of more pet peeves when I think of more. Whatever my I listed, please do not do it, especially as a new grad or as a seasoned nurse, whatever it may be, just don't do it. Be kind, be considerate, that is it. Thanks for watching, bye.